Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you what to do if your iPad keeps lagging after the iPad OS 13.6 update. New Apple devices rarely show adverse system behaviors. However, it doesn't denote that these devices are totally free of flaws, even the newest powerful iPads are no exception. Among the dreaded issues any iPad owner could bump into is on random to frequent lags and freezes. If you're one of the users with this issue, here's what you need to do. First solution, close apps and then force restart your iPad. There are times when there are already a lot of applications running in the background that your iPad's performance drops. If this is the case with your iPad, then you can fix it by simply closing all applications running in the background and refreshing the memory by doing the forced restart. Here's how. Double press the home button or swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Now, swipe up on the previews to close them. To force restart your iPad, press and hold the home button and the power key for 10 seconds. It will force the iPad to shut down and power back up. Once you see the Apple logo, release both keys and wait until the restart is finished. If you're using an iPad Pro, quickly press and release the volume up button and then the volume down button. Immediately after that, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. Once the reboot is finished, try to see if your iPad still lags or freezes. Second solution, check your iPad storage and if there's a new update. If your device is running low on storage space, it will also affect its performance. But aside from that, the problem can also be with the firmware, so it's better to also check for a new update and install it if possible. This is how you do those things. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Touch iPad storage and check if there's enough storage. If you only have around 2 gigabytes, then delete some of your files to free up some space. Go back to the previous screen and then touch software update. If there's an update available, then download and install it. After making sure that your iPad has enough storage space and that its firmware is updated and yet its performance is still poor, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, reset all settings of your iPad. If the previous solutions fail to fix the problem, then what you need to do is to reset all settings on your iPad. To make sure the performance issue isn't due to some inappropriate settings, this procedure works like a factory reset but none of your files will be deleted. This is how it's done. From the home screen, tap Settings. Tap Generals. If it's not selected yet, touch Reset. Touch Reset All Settings. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Reset. Tap Reset to proceed with Settings Reset. Your iPad will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to use the device as you normally would to see if the performance has returned to normal. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. We would appreciate it if you can like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.